Hey, how's it going YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today, Toronto got hit by its first real snowstorm of the year, so I figured it would be a good time to share a festive cup of hot cocoa with you that's sure to warm the cockles of your heart. This take on hot cocoa is going to be a lot more rich than the hot chocolate you probably drank as a kid, but I'm sure you will fall in love with the deep and unique flavor. So without further delay, let's get to it. To start, we need to collect our ingredients. You will need some milk, white sugar, cocoa powder, a vanilla bean or some vanilla extract, nutmeg, and a bar of your favorite chocolate. Now, to a medium saucepan, add 450 milliliters of milk, two to four tablespoons of white sugar, depending on your taste, and four tablespoons of cocoa powder. Take half of a vanilla bean, cut it open down the middle, and with the back of your knife, scrape out the seeds. Add the vanilla seeds to your saucepan, along with the rest of the bean. If you don't have the vanilla bean, just use a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Finally, grate a little nutmeg into your saucepan. The nutmeg will add a unique and festive flavor to the finished product. All that's left is to heat this bad boy up, so just set your stove top to medium heat and stir vigorously with a whisk until the sugar and cocoa become completely dissolved in the milk and the milk starts to simmer. The finishing touch is to add a square of your favorite chocolate and stir it in until it becomes completely melted to give your hot cocoa a truly rich flavor. And with that, we are ready to serve, so let me show you two fun presentations of this hot cocoa. The first is a latte style hot cocoa, so start by ladling some of your cocoa into a latte mug about three quarters full. Then, prepare about 100 milliliters of steamed or frothed milk. Simply fill the latte mug full with the steamed or frothed milk, top with a touch of grated nutmeg, and voila, you are ready to serve this beautiful cup of cocoa. And boy, was this one delicious. I went light on the sugar, so this had a rich, dark chocolatey flavor, the kind of which I adore. The next cup is a little more festive, so in your favorite mug, ladle the hot cocoa near to the top. Add a couple of handfuls of small marshmallows, and top it off with a classic peppermint candy cane. Now if this doesn't get you in the Christmas spirit, I don't know what will. Now I decided to share this cup with my friend Daniel. And I'm not totally sure, but I think he liked it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I also hope you get the chance to share this with your friends and family this Christmas season. Please like my video, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Have a good one. Bye.